Okay, so my first couple videos didn't work. Um, they didn't save because of a bad SD card. But I fixed this hole and this hole, and I did have it all on video, but the files were corrupted. So um, I guess we're going to start with in here. So in here, I'm going to use two-part seam sealer on this crack. This isn't... Um, this is just to pass safety, so I gotta kinda do it as cheap as possible. So I'm not doing it the way I would do my own vehicle. Uh, I've gotta fix this hole. I'm gonna make a patch for right there. Right now I have a patch ready to go right here. So we're gonna patch this right now. Um, I kinda got it cleaned up uh, to bare metal so I can glue to that. And. The patch is right, right here. So I'm just gonna pause this while I get the glue ready. Okay, so for this glue, we're using this. It's in a an old fuser gun. This gun will do all the tubes, but this stuff costs about a hundred to two hundred, depending on what rate you can get it at. It can cost if you're just a person off the street. They charge nearly two hundred for this. Um, I can get it for around 99 but um, I don't use this tube because this tube, unless I need something, a fine, unless I need to use this tube, but everything that goes into this tube here ends up going bad. You can only use this once, so you waste that much material, which is a couple squirts, probably five bucks worth of stuff. So I just put it on here like this. It's two parts, so you got to mix it. And that should be enough. So I mix it with a putty knife. Just like that. You want it mixed pretty good. Now you got 40 minutes to work with this. I find you really have about 20. After 20, it starts to harden a little bit. And it, I just I like to get it done within 20. But you have to keep it clamped for two hours at 70 Fahrenheit, and the shop's at 70. So once you put it on, you got to clamp it for two hours, and you can't work with it for four hours. There's a chunk in here. You gotta get rid of that. Put it on a paper towel. Okay. So now we'll put it on the panel. I'm just doing the outer, the outer one inch, roughly, outer edge, because there's no metal in the middle, anyways. To stick this to so you're just wasting glue yeah. and if there's a little extra that's good. I put it on after I fill in any holes or gaps that I see on the panel. So I got to do this this outside edge too. I gave it a little 90 degree break right there to match up with the other panel. Okay, so now I'm going to go stick this on and then I'll be back to show you what it uh, looks like when it's clamped on there. Okay, so I got this clamped. See, it's clamped on this bottom edge to make a straight edge across there. I'm still going to put another piece up right here. i got to put a piece up here. After this, after this is dried, I can pull these clamps off. Um, right now, on the inside, it looks like this. So there's solid metal there where the holes were. So now I'm going to make a patch for this spot here. Well, this hardens up, so these clamps got to stay on here for two hours. 
and uh, yeah I'll put a patch up there and then I'm gonna use a, a body jack to push the, the patch up and hold it for the two hours so anyways I'll start doing that now okay so I got this patch ready for that other spot so I'll mix up a bit more glue this time I can cover the whole panel with glue because there's pretty much metal there on all this, the whole area. So, uh, I'll glue the whole, the whole thing. I'll put glue on the whole surface. There's a, a break in that too to cut the back edge. And I gotta jack this into place to hold it while this stuff dries. And then I'll uh, take a lunch break and then I'll be able to pull those clamps off on the other panel and I'll start building that piece for the bottom of the rocker. And then this side will be finished, at least for putting panels on. I still gotta do a little bit of body work. I don't have to do a whole lot of this truck's not going to look brand new no matter what I do to it unless I spend two months on it so we'll coat this hole I'll put it heavier on the edges put it thick there on the edge thick there so we're going to do this outside edge I'll probably get some on my fingers. So nice and thick on that. So that's got a whole coating. I got a little bit extra on the knife. So I can fill in any gaps that I see after I get it jacked up. So I'll get this in place and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so now I got this, uh, you can see I filled this, these little cracks back here with that glue. And uh, I'm just going to go over it with the two-part seam sealer because it's paintable. This stuff's not paintable. So I'll just cover it with two-part seam sealer and then that'll be good enough to pass the safety. The holes are gone. And that actually makes it waterproof, so it might actually last a while. I've never... Uh, really tried this before but that glue should uh, seal it up so this is all sealed here and then this is where I just put the patch and this body jack here goes to the floor and goes up and it's holding I'll see if I can get an angle on it it's holding that patch up there and I still have to do another one and I need the body jack to do that other hole there so I still have to fix that hole there and then this hole on the bottom of the rocker and then all the patches are done for this side and this side's a lot worse than the other side the other side's only going to take maybe two hours it's not nearly as bad as this side was so i'm probably just going to do videos on uh, this side so now i'm going to stop for lunch and then i should be able to pull these clamps off here for this patch and i'll start making the patch for this one right after lunch I'll uh, I'll get that up there, and then when that one's done, I'll be able to pull this body jack off and use it to hold a patch up there, and that should be good for the day. Okay, so I got this patch built, ready for this this spot over here. It's gonna go right up in here. So I'll put some glue on it and clamp it up there and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is clamped up here now. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but those two bolts are just hold it tight at the end. But you can grind them, the heads off and then cover them with glue with a finger grinder. So it's pretty hard to see it, but 
it's getting it's getting there so it's, it's all rebuilt you now see we can get up there <coughs> so that's it's almost done I just got to do this that one patch right there so I can move this uh, body jack and use it to patch that one hole there so I'm gonna make that patch uh, I won't bother videoing it because it's just a little wee four inch by probably three inch patch but that's how you glue panels on anyways <coughs> 